Welcome back, everybody. I am the Jimmer. This is King of the Hill. Uh, this is Ex Inspection Episode 4. So no battles this time. Just going to take a look at uh, some more entries that have been submitted. There should be all of the entries that I have received so far. So we've got uh, quite a few entries. Um, lots of different designers. Uh, really appreciate the participation. Today we're going to take a look at the Stingray by Major Oss. The G-Bass. Proto M64 by Zebgef, the Shogun Battle Carrier by Thompson, and the x Shakshin by Char Chardon. So first up we have the AFB 2LC Stingray by Major Oss coming in right at the budget. And uh, let's take a look at what we're looking at. We'll look at what we're looking at, yeah. <laughs> oh cool. Looks like a skimmer design with some nasty little rams there on the front. I'm going to have trouble keeping up with this one. Let's uh, hop on board before it runs away. There we go. Take a look at the shielding for it. It looks like just a single layer of shielding. Maybe a little bit of overlap here in the front. Basically single layer. And then is this just oh okay interesting got uh, uh, horizontal or I guess it's vert vertical yeah vertical hydrofoils for turning is that front and back or just front looks like just the front I'll lift this up out of the water get a better look oh and it is front and back oh, look at all those hydrofoils it's a uh, a good idea provides really strong turning force and then uh, another strip of hydrofoils um, down the sides for keeping it up out of the water. A lot less drag that way and very fast. So yeah, look at these uh, mighty spinner rams here. Do not want to get hit by those. Those will chew through your vehicle in no time flat. Sort of a flat blue stealth color. Very difficult to see along the, or along the surface of the ocean. Obviously not modeled in from the depth, so the AI doesn't really care what color it is, but uh, blends in nicely. Yeah, look, <laughs> look at that fucking turret. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Twin of oh, only 402 millimeters. I was expecting the full 500. I'd say I'm a little disappointed there. Yeah, very uh, strong shielding, or uh, armor, excuse me. Heavy beams along the barrels and heavy barrels, so it'd be difficult to take out the, uh, the turret. Oh, yeah, look at all the heavy armor in the turret itself. Yeah, this is very well guarded. And it uh, looks like. Wait, is that. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a spinner. And. Yeah, look at all that. All that uh, gun dumps here inside the hull. Very deep inside the vehicle, so it's going to be hard to. Uh, detonate this turret. This turret's going to last a good long while. And 3 meters on the 402 millimeter, or 4, 466 millimeter? 402 millimeter. I was right the first time. So yeah. AP cap. So AP, that's interesting. I, I want to take a look at the uh, actual shell. That's a monster turret. And also, no, there's just nothing here. <laughs> So, oh, okay, so it's got air gap all around, stone, metal, stone, stone, air gap, yeah. It's a good, it's good, very clever. And custom jet engines, I'm guessing. A big old custom jet engines here on the inside, and a nice large uh, fuel engine or two, is that two fuel engines? What am I looking at? It's a weird configuration of... Oh, I see. It's got the adapter and... Okay. He's doing some fanciness with his fuel engines in here. So, like, I think the only thing they're powering really is going to be the shields. Oh, and the ammo. Look at the ammo processors. Woo! <laughs> You'll be chewing through those resources quick. Ammo buried deep in the belly of the beast. 
so if you can get that, it's going to do a lot of damage, but you're basically going to have to destroy the ship before you even get to it. And can we find... I'm curious as to what uh, sort of shells this is firing. The, uh, the AP captain knows, which sort of intrigued me. Most, most people seem to be shooting a uh, uh, frag. Oh, that's not it. And here it is. APHE pen depth internal views. Ah, I see. So he's going for uh, busting through your. Uh, I guess it makes sense because he got to destroy himself. So the uh, AP heads get through the external armor and then the HE blows up inside the hull. Very clever design. Yeah, this is, this is nice. I like this. This is the EFB 2LC Stingray by Major Oss. Let's um, just double check it and make sure it can take itself out. With those spinner ramps on the front, I don't think it's going to be an issue. This is going to be one of our uh, quicker uh, tests. Just a little baby spawn stick there just to uh, get it uh, up on plane right away. Yep. And let's see. Are the, the shells not loaded? Oh, that is an oversight. So I'm, I'm going to explain it here. Um, when you build your entry, build it, save it, load it, like then like kind of like really like restart the designer and then load it in and then let it just sit there and load the clips. Um, it's like I don't know, it's like a weird bug where like if you load the clips before saving it, it doesn't save the clips loaded. But if you save it, load it load the clips and then save it one more like a second time it'll start with the clips loaded i mean it's only a couple seconds but sometimes in these tournaments that's a couple seconds can make a huge difference that's a nasty guns i thought it was gonna i thought we were gonna have a collision right away it looks like they're sort of circling each other trying to find that range Oh, <laughs> so close. But anyway, one of them is down to 88%, so that uh, proves the uh, self-destruction portion. Let's see, AFB 2LC Stingray by Major Oss. All right. Oh, this isn't what I want. I want to load the next design. All right, so next up we have the G-Bass Proto MK64 by Zepgaf. Oh, what a gorgeous vehicle. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Very nice. Or is this in... Uh, I bet this is in... Uh, it's got to be in... Uh, faction colors. Because that's my, my faction colors. So it'll probably be a little bit ugly, a little bit garish in the uh, vehicle designer. But uh, as far as the colors go, but uh, the shape is, is very nice. Oh, look at that. Sort of trippy watching the, uh, the Dead of Blade spin. Let's see here. The clear path all the way through. Little baby turret here on the top. Nice little fin. Dead blades here at the rear. To take a look at that. A little bit sketchy on these. As there's no like wait, is this yeah, wood beam. Yeah, wood beam right into the dead of blades. I would like to see like even if there was like airflow like all the way through 
or perhaps some um, like side like if these were like intakes for that I mean that's not uh, they do they are exposed enough I'm not gonna DQ it but it's yeah this is a little bit borderline for the uh, the dead blades must be uh, somewhat believable overall I'm gonna let it slide because overall I really really like the design obviously um, put some effort into the aesthetics but uh, next time well, for anybody else watching um, like maybe put some like intakes here like just have like a path so the air could like come in the side and then get pushed out the back I think would be a little bit more realistic but I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it too much some wings here is there anything in these it's just wings oh they're missile missile pods missiles are hidden there on the inside <laughs> those are huge missiles frag and explosive beam rider massive missiles those are going to do a lot of damage if they land it's like it's got uh, ACB AI controlled as you know uh, Slim Pickens came up with this idea it's all his <laughs> But now it doesn't use the AI to turn the uh, the turret aims at the enemy, and then this will turn it right, uh, left, and right, and uh, kind of bypass any AI weirdness that way. Some more missiles here on the side, explosive frag missiles. So this thing's got decent missile spam, and then a uh, massive APS going at the front. Was this on a turret? No, I'm just being silly. Or it is on a turret. That's weird. So it can't possibly turn. I don't know why it's on a turret. Maybe, uh, oh, I guess it can kind of give you a little bit of, uh, like, better armor if you put it on a turret. Better armor against, uh, frags. Sometimes, not, not always. Or not frags off, like it's heat. And what's it shooting? All kinds of shells. We've got squash head, black head, squash, disruptor deposits. So, 500 millimeter, 4 meter shells. Yeah, this is a big gun. It's like going to be an intermittent fire, not a whole lot of loaders. A good amount, but not, I don't think enough to do sustained fire. at the other turrets. Oh, a, uh, this is a torpedo launcher. A torpedo launcher on the bottom. Oops. And this is, this is Sea Wiz. Just maybe just a small pause ahead. Nope, just a little, uh, maybe an anti-air turret. Maybe it'll, it's those are small barrels, though. I don't know. Just a, a cute little turret on the top. And then these got to be the, uh, yeah, these are the Sea Wiz here. So it's got, it does have, um, it's like four Sea Wiz. Are those six, six Sea Wiz, maybe? Yeah, lots of missile defense, lots of missiles. And a big APS gun. And I'm guessing forward facing broadsider. But we better double check these shields. Got one. Two, three. Yeah, no, no worries on the shields. It's like two, maybe three shields at most going through. Alright, let's see it in a fight. Here there it goes. Lifted itself right up out of the water. So 
like has to be at the distance it's at. Actually, they move them forward a little bit, which is surprising. Usually the uh, forward facing broadsiders try and get to the max distance. This is staying up uh, through those missiles. Boom, yeah, those are going to do a lot. Look at all the blocks rain off while that one missile landed. Some serious missiles. Oh, that's nice. Let's look after the initial volley, it looks like loading problems or something. Maybe not quite enough ammo. Maybe, oh, there it goes. No, it was just... <laughs> just had to wait a little bit for the burst. And it looks like this one is actually very close, 95.6. Yeah, there it is. 95%. I'll call that close enough. I obviously have a no problem doing damage to itself. This is the G-Bass Prototype 64 by Zebgaf. Let's load in our next entry. We have the Shogun Battle Carrier by Thompson. Oh, I like Thompson designs. 110s. This is a displacement hall. Oh man, what a beauty. Oh, that is so cool. It's, it's got, uh, you can see, sort of uh, runways here. I don't know what they're exactly called on a. Uh, a takeoff and landing strip, I guess, to be more correct. A little launch ramp at the end. So, combination battleship aircraft carrier. Oh, look at that. Which is absolutely gorgeous. Thompson always sends me some of the best designs. Oh, I didn't even notice. Look at the little planes on the back. How cute. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, that's an interesting uh, layout. So using uh, underwater data blades. No issues with being inside the hull. Using uh, hydrofoils to keep the hull lifted. A little bit high in the water here. We better uh, double check and make sure Oh yeah, it's it's a little bit. It's a, not actually. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a little bit lifted out of the water, but I, I'm not gonna worry about it. Basically, displacement hull. Lots of rudders. look at the inside. Look at these uh, missile tubes. Large missiles, large frag missiles. The LAM system. It's like separate engines with uh, in their own compartments for uh, redundancy. like ammo here at the front well spread out to prevent chain reactions 
underwater lands here too for uh, torpedo defense. And yeah, let's take a look at the guns. Some huge, absolutely huge turrets. Look at that. Two quad barrel. Force, oh wait, no, 500 millimeter. Only two meter um, loaders. And all these are giant turrets. They're not all that uh, many loaders, so they're going to be somewhat slow firing. What are we? What are we shooting? HE, so big time HE. So I imagine both these turrets are probably the same. Yeah, same turrets. So big, 500 millimeter HE. Somewhat slow rate of fire, but uh, making up for it with lots of firing pieces. We've got some Sea Wiz here on the side. Let's take a look at you next. Oh, oh that's cute. It's got little uh, auto turret guns here on the side. Torpedo racks on the bottom. And yeah, this is what I wanted to see. The... I don't think these are actual Sea Wiz, just sort of modeled to look like them. So they're shooting some so bow, right? Yeah, some bow. Well, I guess it's it's sort of what real Sea Wiz would use. But uh, yeah, just high rate of fire, spam guns, taking out uh, unshielded enemies. Should be good against anything high speed, low armor. What's this? It's a laser. Yeah, simple weapon lasers laser turrets as well. So anything getting close should be good against uh, suicide type craft. Anything, any other surprises on here? Oh, some more lasers here at the back. Okay, I didn't even realize these were laser turrets. So yeah, lots of laser turrets on the back side. And the laser turrets all around or doing you know, a moderate amount of damage to close range enemies. Big HE guns. Look at the look at the detail in the superstructure. Oh, I like he's using uh, ammo clips for the windows. Sort of makes sense. It makes it look look like uh, bulletproof or armored glass, as opposed to the regular windows, which look somewhat flimsy. This actually kind of fits the uh, battleship theme. Very nice, just every, everywhere, just really beautiful ships. This is the Shogun Battle Carrier by Thompson. Let's get it into a fight. the wrong thing. And here we go. <laughs> Look at that missile strike. It's a lot of missiles. A little trouble lifting itself. There it goes. Got the engines going, lifting its hull up out of the water. Oh man, yeah, taking those missiles. You see the main guns? I missed the main guns if they fired. Yeah, I must have just missed it. Oh yeah, there we go. So shooting all at once in its height group. It's a good strategy for overcoming lambs. Yeah, taking big bites out. There we go, both below 95% real quick. So that is the Shogun Battle Carrier by Thompson. And let's look at, I think we have one last entry to take a look at. Yes, we have the Extraction by Char Chardon. Oh, I 
Got, is that is it? Oh, not. Not taking advantage of the displacement hull. This looks like it could be counted as a displacement hull. Yeah, I definitely count this as a displacement hull. So this could easily be 10k more resources. Going into either the, uh, the flagship or the support vehicle. Lots of alloy. Only a few. This is going to be slow. Let's take a look at the hull. Like just a few shields here and there. <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, Char Charda. It's like he, he was a little bit concerned that I would disqualify it because he uh, said it was basically just an alloy uh, brick. <laughs> and it certainly is. It's just alloy beams, just completely filled with alloy beams. So this is going to be really, really uh, buoyant and uh, really durable. It's going to be. A, it's going to take a lot of DACA to take this out. I suppose uh, your best bet would be to take out the uh, turrets themselves. But uh, they have armor on. It looks like armor on the turrets. At least a little bit of armor on the turrets and uh, sunk in that very heavily armored hull a look at uh, the inside here heavy armor around the uh, ammo at the middle it's going to be almost impossible to take that out just a small little engine here I guess if you're only running a couple shields and a little bit of propulsion you don't need a lot of engine power man this thing is super tanky Take a look at the uh, the turrets. So single firing piece, 33, 333 millimeters, four meter shells. So they're even at only 330 meters. Those are going to be some big shells, and it looks like heat, heat all the way around. What is, what is this one called? Yeah, this is the auction, extraction. Hard to, hard to say that one. Oh, and that's the, uh, oh, okay, so the other, I get it, the uh, other sub-vehicle docks right here. That's, that's what this empty space is for, for that too. So to land and dock up. Yeah, let's take a look at the uh, sub-vehicle over here. This thing's interesting looking as well. Come here, you bugger. There we go. And this is going to be the Mad Fighter. Sort of Flying Squirrel-esque. Lots of repair bots. Really tight acceleration. So not, it's not that fast, only about 40 meters a second. But wobbling all over the place difficult to hit and fairly heavy armor for uh, a micro fighter usually these guys are kind of like wood now like this has got uh, metal and uh, heavy armor in here as well so engines and jet engines here at the back not a whole lot else on the inside let's take a look at the guns We've got Turrets, 150 millimeter, one meter. So it looks like HE span. What's the one on the front is different. So this is a 500 millimeter. Well, I imagine. So yeah, HE spam. This is probably just a little bit slower, harder hitting than the uh, two side turrets. All right, so that is the X Shockshin and the Mad Fighter by Char Chardon. Let's uh, see him blow themselves up. Uh, obviously, with the uh, the lack of shields and the big guns, it shouldn't be a problem.
And here we go. Oh man, the front two turrets just got clipped off almost immediately. Back shock sh oh, look at the, listen to the repair bots. It's got quite a few repair bots on it. the whole turret. bouncing right off the hull. <laughs> oh, collision. So basically, we're just trying to see... Uh, I'm just going to... The Mad Fighters haven't taken damage, but as you can see, they are not... It's not unreasonable to think that these could uh, be hit. So I'm just going to call it here. I'm going to wait for uh, the uh, extractions to destroy themselves and then finally have the uh, Mad Fighters fight. Oh, and I'm getting a lag spike from the collision. Alright, so that is all the entries I have received so far. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing them. Uh, once again, I just want to thank everybody for, for sending me their signs. And all oh, this is... Okay, we're, we're gonna get out of that. That lag was bugging me. But uh, thanks everyone for sending in your designs. I really appreciate it. Um, you guys have been sending me some really, really great stuff. Obviously putting a lot of time and effort, um, not only into the, the function, but uh, the aesthetics. Making it fun for everyone to watch. And uh, next time we will have some battles. You get to see um, all these entries fight. But uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time.